What's up folks, I saw they released the Destroy All Humans remake demo on Steam, so I kinda wanted to tell you guys my thoughts about my time spent on the first mission. When this game releases, I'll be doing a giveaway, so be sure to check out the review when it comes out. As usual, if you enjoyed this video, why not subscribe? And if you would prefer an audio only version, the link is below. What do I think of Destroy All Humans Remastered? Well, I'm about to tell you. My name is Tanner, and this is For Your Money. Now a quick disclaimer, this was the demo so stuff could change from now to the initial release. Upon opening Destroy All Humans, you're greeted with a note from the developers saying, Humans of Planet Earth, be advised. While the experience has been upgraded, the content and historical record of the original Invasion of the Furons remains a near identical clone. The story, words, and images contained within may be shocking to the human brain. In them saying this, my thoughts are the story has remained the same and the only thing changed in the slightest other than graphics and gameplay would be some of the characters lines and actions as well as maybe some images in game. Now I say this with a little bit of proof as well, I mean the changes so far other than gameplay and graphics are minor. Such as the billboard you see when it opens up to the farm says plan 42 rather than plan 9 as well as Crypto's hand gesture when greeting Pox is different than the original. So I'm assuming when they say near identical, they truly mean minor changes. Now once in game, we see a huge difference, even in the title screen. In 2005, when we looked at Earth, there was a line across the top part of the US as if it were a bad photo insert. But here they use a smaller and more detailed portion of Earth. Once in game, you can immediately tell the graphical difference. The remake plays out a bit more cartoonish-like while still trying to keep hints of realism mixed with vivid colors and great background noises. With the cartoon feel, I mean, if you've played the original or any of the Destroy All Human games, you know it's goofy and the art direction they went with goes excellent with the themes of the game. Voice acting. Now, voice acting it is indeed better than it was in 2005, but there's just a sound to it that doesn't exactly sound great. So to better showcase it, here's a short clip to show you. Crypto here. How's the view from the safety of the mothership? Very funny. So yeah, I'm sure it can be fixed before release, as I'm sure this demo is a rather early version. Now as for the character recreations, they are damn good. Crypto has these circular things in the back of his head that are constantly pulsating, as well as lights that move around on the insides of his head. That's just one example out of many. Character creation is a huge plus in this remaster. Graphics are all around quite stunning and exactly what I expected. Gameplay wise, this game looks and feels a whole hell of a lot smoother than it did in 05. But of course, I was on PS2 then and here I am now on PC. So the controls and how they feel differ drastically. But just to ensure how smooth the remake felt, I played the original Xbox version on my Xbox One and woo wee! Trust me, this version is more than a complete overhaul, at least from Mission 1. Zapping enemies feels rewarding, throwing them around like a ragdoll is just as fun as it was day 1, and the saucer camera angles, yep, they're still whack. One of my issues when I first entered this series was the fact that the saucer camera aims in a downward kind of view. This does not change in the demo, and I doubt it'll change in the finished product either. It's just something we're going to have to overcome once again. Only reason I don't like it is simply due to the fact that the surrounding area has trees and I kind of just want to fly over them with ease rather than accidentally bump into them and then see that I need a backup and further ascend into the air. Other than that, the saucer beam is insanely redesigned to how much damage it does and the trail of devastation it leaves behind. The gameplay is a massive overhaul that is quite awesome. Overall, I'm genuinely impressed with the remaster as of now, minus the audio sound and the saucer camera angle, but those two minor details aren't anything I'm going to make a big deal about. Yet. I had high expectations, like I said, about this remaster, and so far, they have fulfilled most of the demands I could have asked for. As usual, this was a phenomenal gaming experience, and if you liked the video, why not subscribe? If you did not, well, I don't give a shit. Till next time, fellas.